Hey guys, it's iPod Craft King here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to control your Mac or PC from your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad over a Wi Fi and 3G network. It is worth noting that for my method, it is completely free and you do not need to jailbreak your device to do this. So, the first step we need to do is to navigate to our device and launch the App Store. We need to download a free application from the App Store called Log Me In All One Word. Basically, this is a program that will let us control our Mac or PC from your device. It is completely free, like I said, and that's about it. You just download it, set up a free account. It will take more than a minute. Once you've done that, we're going to uh, jump right over the computer and show you guys what to do next because you do have to do a couple stuff with the computer. But other than that, it's quick and easy, and then we will be controlling our Mac and PC in no time. So from here, all you have to do is open up your internet browser and navigate to www.logmein.com. I will have a link for you uh, in the description. Just click that and you will end up here. Basically, like I said, you have to create an account. And once you did, in my last clip I said that right on your device, you just create an account when you download the application. And then on your right to this website, you will see login with your account, type in your email, and then your password that you chose when you were setting your uh, account up, then press log me in. Now all you have to do is download this. This is how you know it'll say that you know you can actually uh control your computer from your device. All I have to do is just it's really quick and easy is download it. Wait, just gonna keep that. And then it's just gonna download it. Let's wait for it to download. Open it. Let's just run it. It's just gonna do all this kind of installation stuff. Let's press next, next. I agree. And then I'm just gonna press typical. I'm just, I'm not gonna skip the you know jump through any of these parts just because I just want to show you guys what to do. I uh, just press this. Uh, computer access code. This is basically what you will do to uh, you know be able to log in with the security access code. Uh, so uh, all you have to do is just type in one. I'm just gonna type in uh, you know it'll actually just ask you this whenever you try to connect to your device. So it'll say like uh, what's your access code and then you'll press that in. So I'm just gonna make one up. I think I did that wrong. <laughs> so I'm just going to do that and then verify. Press next, next. And it will insta install. So basically, I'm just going to actually cut this part out just because it will install, take a bit. But then once you're done, uh, you can open the application and I'll show you guys what to do from there. So once you're done installing, it will automatically open the application up. It does say log me in pro, because this is the pro trial for 30 days. But once you are done the pro, which in 30 days, it'll just be the free version. You can keep that for, you know, a while. But basically when you're, you know, when the pro trial is up, you'll just be access to the free version. Basically, I don't really care about that because, um... With the pro version, you're probably going to have features that you won't even use, like, that are on the computer, like, overview, you know, this kind of desktop sharing, file sharing. They may not be here, but basically, what I'm going to teach you is how to control your computer from your device, and that is all, you know, accessible with the free version. So if it says pro, don't worry, if your pro version is up, you'll still be able to control your computer from your device. It may have a, like, a 10 minute time limit, I'm not sure about that. Either way, it's definitely great, and I still recommend doing so. Once you have it installed, uh, the application installed, you can just exit out of it. Um, you can never open it again, that's fine. Just make sure you do have it installed, because if you don't, then it won't do it successfully and not you cannot control your computer from your device successfully if you do not have it installed. But that's about it for the computer part. Now we're just gonna jump thankfully uh it's about time that we jump back to the uh device so we can show you guys what to do next and how good it works, all that kind of stuff. So now we're gonna dump, jump right back to my desk and show you guys what to do next. So finally, we're actually back to our desk, to our device. Uh, so basically, once you did all that computer stuff, yes, I knew my uh, computer, my screen recorder was horrible. I used Camp Studio, and the audio wasn't great. So forgive me about that. I'm sorry. But uh, once you have the server and all that kind of stuff installed, just open up Log Me In right here. And as you can see, we'll have this little window. Depending what device you have, or you have an iPhone or iPad, the layout's gonna be a bit different. But generally, it's going to be about the same. All you have to do is just click on the computer that has a program installed 
in case mine is Ethan HP, so I'm just going to press the connect button. It's going to open up a new window. And it's going to access to the access code, or it's going to tell you and ask for the access code that uh, I said that it'll ask you when you set up the you know, program for your computer in my previous clip. So I'm just going to type it in. I know we'd access code, but I'm just going to turn that on and just remember my login. So you know, press login. It will wait for the login. Take a bit, but other than that, we're just going to wait. So, as you can see, these are all the gestures it'll have, uh, you know, how to navigate around, which is very helpful, because it did confuse me a bit. But basically, we have one finger to move around, pinch in and out to zoom out with those gestures. Single taps or single clicks, and then double taps or double clicks, so if you want to open desktop icon, double click. And then two tap, two finger taps are right clicks, or actually you have like a little right click right here. Where you can tap that, and it'll set right or left click. Then you can tap. I don't, it, it says that, but I just use this method. <laughs> but basically, we have uh, double tap and slide to drag items. Two finger to scroll like like scroll wheel. Three finger left right to switch monitors. Three finger up and down to show and hide keyboard. And then. And then we have change, scroll, mode, and settings, which is just a, you know, a preview of the settings app, I guess. Uh, but basically, you have to understand those gestures, because if you don't, you'll be a little lost like I did. But basically, we're just going to continue to our computer. And here we have our desktop. <laughs> yes, this is my desktop. Uh, so basically, and it's a very nice way of navigating through your desktop. Uh, hold on, I was going to... So basically, we have, we, here we have can tap anywhere. As you can see, our mouse is kind of moving. We can move our mouse from this little thing, this little pad that we can kind of go like that with. Or we can just tap, which I always prefer. <laughs> That's how to move around. But basically, this is it. Our computer is all the way downstairs. It doesn't have really any much of a problem. Sometimes it does have an internet connection problem. When my internet goes out, it will not be able to access this. But other than that, that's expected. We're just going to open up the internet browser. Say you want to do some nice desktop web browsing. We're just going to do that. We can pull up our keyboard by pressing this. Type in YouTube. We're just going to tap on YouTube Broadcast yourself. As a suggestion, bring down your computer. It is a bit weird. Uh, you do have your start menu buttons and that kind of stuff. But it is actually kind of unified for this. <laughs> As you can see, it is a bit laggy. Our ad is displaying up there. But it's kind of weird to just scroll. I'll just show you guys if I can. Double click. And then scroll down. Like that. As you can see, I am doing it with a stutter a bit. But I'm going to click on my channel. But as you can see, this is basically it. With those gestures, you can move around and access all the functionalities of your computer. And it does it pretty well. Pretty, you know, probably the best one I've seen. I've looked up all these bunch of tutorials without jailbreaking you how to do it. Make it be super stable. And this is probably the best you can get. Like I said, there is, a, you know, the pro version. You know, you don't know what to do <laughs> when that's out. But basically, it does the same thing. You know, you can download the free, uh, you know, trial. And then, you know, it'll just do this. It'll <laughs> access the computer, uh, you know, through your device. Uh, there are a lot of, actually, uh, extra features with this app, which I'm not going to go over. But I will tell you <laughs> that there is a lot. Uh, here's our, uh, you know, I guess... What a task manager, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I'm not that great with this, but uh, here we have. We can tap that for a task manager. We can sleep a computer, all that kind of stuff. With obviously Mac, it'll be different, but uh, that's basically it for this. I'm just going to, uh, you know, do whatever. Switch user, log off. You can do all that kind of stuff. But that's basically what you do. It's a very, very nice way to, uh, you know, access your computer from your device. I totally recommend doing this. If you're interested in it, I have a link in the description, like I said, to download the computer version of this to you know, download the server, all that kind of stuff. The application is free, like I said, log me in, totally recommend it. That's about it. And then that's about it. Like I said, oh my god, for like the fifth time. Totally recommend this app. And I rate this app probably like nine stars out of ten. And just because that there's a pro version, you could have the option to pay, but it definitely is not needed. And I can definitely recommend doing this for like the sixth time. <laughs> That's about it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe up above. That will let you know when I post a new video. That's about it, guys. I'm King, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.